We have a road construction update. It involves 52nd Avenue South and West Fargo and Fargo. Over the weekend, a stretch from 45th Street to Veterans opened. And now another section, this time from 63rd Street South. That intersection is open. However, what drivers have regained may not ease the pain and confusion they've been dealing with. Valley News Team's Callie Hubbard spoke with the city of Fargo to see how much longer it's going to take. They have the baby pool and the big pool. Danielle Burkle spends many of her days outside <laughs> watching the kids as they play in their slide. Go in, go on the bounce house, guys. And it won't be long before her six-year-old daughter, Mia, is off to elementary school at Deer Creek. My main concern is for safety for all of our little ones. It's just really hard to have all of the trucks driving by back and forth at all hours of the day. Big construction trucks like these. Watch as one drives by in the background during our chat. Yeah, the trucks fly by. And again, with the different roads being open and closed, I think people get frustrated and then they tend to, especially like trucks trying to get to their jobs and things, tend to do a little bit of a lead foot. Burkle added that in just a week, Mia will be walking to and from school. She says she's feeling a little uneasy about it. Um, it's it's stressful. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm very very concerned about sending her. I'm here at 52nd Avenue South and 63rd Street South, where as you can see behind me, there's still quite a bit of traffic. The city of Fargo says it's only going to get worse when school starts. The other challenge for people living in this part of town will be the continued challenges because of unfinished road work. There's some good news. 52nd Avenue South will be open to two lanes shortly. In about the mid to late October, we'd like to have this whole project wrapped up. And until the work wraps up, you might want to drive around the area a bit to find the best, the quickest, and the least stressful routes before your kids head back to school. In West Fargo, Callie Hubbard, Valley News Live. For the latest on road work and updates on construction schedules, visit our website. Go to valleynewslive.com.